Hey, what's up guys? Rules for Rebels here, and uh, today's going to be a pretty quick video. I know I always say that and wind up rambling on for 15 minutes, but basically I've, I've been having some questions from some of you guys who are, are somewhat interested in starting a YouTube channel. Uh, not even necessarily like a vlogging style YouTube channel, but just starting a YouTube channel to put up videos for your business, um, to put up uh, videos for affiliate marketing or within your niche, etc. Uh, so I just want to share a few quick tips as well as kind of walk you through uh, how to put up a video. Because I know if you're completely new to uh, YouTube, this can probably be a little bit uh, overwhelming. So uh, first things first, we're going to want to uh, click that tab at the top and go to my channel. Uh, I guess we don't even have to do that. You can upload from any page. But uh, we're going to click upload. And at this point, we could go to our desktop and drag an image into here. In this case, I'm going to click Select Files. Uh, so I'm going to pause this real quick while I select my file. Okay, so as soon as I selected my file, it starts uploading immediately. Now, it's going to take a few minutes to upload and process and everything else. But at this point, we need to come up with a, some basic info for the title, the description. Uh, we need to add our tags. This is a message which will be shared on Google Plus and Twitter. And if we want to, we can also add it to a playlist. Um, and I know we can also lastly do a custom thumbnail. So um, let's see, do I have my page up? So this is a thumbnail I created. Um, I actually use this as kind of the backdrop of the video, uh, but it's also going to be a thumbnail. So uh, let's go back to this page and we're going to click select uh, our thumbnail. Okay, and I selected the file. So you can see this is now our custom thumbnail. Now, if I were not to select a custom thumbnail, um, what would happen was they, they would just take a random screenshot from the video and make that the thumbnail of the video. Uh, if you make a thumbnail like in Canva or Photoshop, it's going to be a little bit more catchy and bring people in more. Uh, so you're going to get more views on your video by using thumbnails. Okay, guys, and we we're actually going to schedule this post. Um, it just finished uploading. Uh, sorry, I had to step away from the computer for a second. Um, so here we can see screenshots. So this is a screenshot I uploaded, and these are three random screenshots that they pulled throughout the video. So if I didn't enter a custom thumbnail, it would give me a choice of these three. And I could choose which one I wanted. I uploaded a custom, which is why we're using this one, but it just so turns out that one of the suggested uh, thumbnails is actually the same image that I used. Now, um, when it comes to selecting the title, how do we come up with a title, right? So we could do something really vague, like uh, how to make, uh, how to sell more products on Amazon. And using uh, Amazon PPC is another method to sell more products on Amazon. Uh, however, it's not really specific to uh, Amazon PPC, right? So another thing I like to do here, We'll go to youtube.com and we're just basically going to use the suggestions that they give us to come up with some keywords. So um, let's see here, uh, Amazon PPC. And let's look what they suggest. Some of the most searched terms are Amazon PPC strategy, Amazon PPC tutorial, Amazon PPC optimi optimization, uh, Amazon PPC advertising, Amazon PPC tips, Amazon PPC campaign, Amazon PPC 2016, troubleshooting, and mini course. So I'm going to want to ideally try to use at least one of these uh, sort of long tail keywords, if not a couple of them. So I may do, do like Amazon PPC strategy 2016, and I'm incorporating strategy and 2016. Or I could do Amazon PPC tutorial strategy 2015. I'm sorry, 2016. Uh, but basically, I'm going to get more people viewing my video if I use terms like this. Now, to some extent, you don't really want to do ClickBank. Like, if you're just doing some affiliate marketing on some, like, throwaway YouTube account, okay, fine, maybe you can use some ClickBank. ClickBank is basically like, watch this video, and you will earn $10,000 today on Amazon, you know, on Amazon, uh, as an Amazon seller. Um, now, now, that's what they call ClickBank, and that's not really, really that honest, and uh, it annoys people. And because this is like my main YouTube channel, and um, I don't want to clickbait you guys and stuff, I'm going to keep it more, more straightforward. So we're going to do Amazon PPC, because that's kind of the main focus of what this video is about. So we're going to put it as early in the title as possible. Amazon PPC uh, introduction and uh, mini tutorial. How to drive traffic to your Amazon product. And then for the description, I noticed something a lot of people do. A lot of people do really brief descriptions, like this video is about Amazon PPC. And you really want to treat this like a mini blog post. So um, let's say I'm just going to throw something together here. Uh, hey guys, uh, today's video is about Amazon PPC. If you have a new Amazon product and sales are slow. Using Amazon and PPC can be a great way to drive traffic and improve sales to your new high quality product. A quick word of caution. 
sometimes uh, <clears throat> no. Amazon states that listings don't really convert well. Sixteen seems to be the magic number for customers to begin to trust their product. Whether a listing has sixteen reviews or one hundred and sixty reviews, Amazon states the conversion rates do not improve. Because of this. Um, and then I'll talk a little bit about what the video is going to be about. In this video, we do a screencast showing you guys what your Amazon PPC reporting dashboard will look like. We'll look at one of my campaigns and see what we are paying for advertising. Um, compare with what results we are. or anything related to Amazon selling, drop a comment below. If you learned something or enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and subscribe. Now that last uh, part that we did, this is called a call to action. And if you watch my videos, you probably notice at the end, I'll ask people to subscribe. Now, some people do this stuff at the beginning of the video because a lot of people are going to fall off before watching the whole video. So they like to get that call to action out. Now, it may seem stupid, like <clears throat> how effective is it really asking somebody to subscribe? Calls to action are actually very, very effective. Um, any of you guys who are like communications majors may remember from like, uh, you know, broadcasting or mass media classes, like calls to action are really important. Like if I don't ask you guys to subscribe, the percentage of people who subscribe is going to be dramatically lower as opposed to if I ask you guys to subscribe. So a lot of times I like to put that in text at the bottom. Now, if we go down to uh, keywords, we can use it. Uh, let's see, Uber suggest. Uh, I want to thank Latanya for this. I was actually familiar with this website and I've actually been meaning to make a video talking about this specific website itself. But uh, what this does, uh, Amazon, uh, you just used this in the past. I kind of forgot about it. Haven't used it in a while. And Latanya on my video about long tail keywords the other day uh, mentioned this. And, and Latanya is very active on the channel. She always does great suggestions. So keep an eye out for her in the comment section. But we can see other ideas for uh, for keywords. So I'm going to want to use some of these keywords in uh, in the tags here. So basically, what when I'm Amazon PPC, uh, Amazon pay per click. cost. Basically, these are terms that people are searching for on the internet, on Google, etc. Um, so by incorporating these uh, keywords into our tags, hopefully when somebody goes on YouTube and searches something, we're going to be more likely to come up. So Amazon PPC guide, Amazon selling, Amazon seller. Now we don't want to go overboard, but let's find a couple other good ones. Uh, Amazon PPC tips, we'll do tips. Amazon PPC Words. Amazon PPC bid. I imagine a lot of people are asking, like, how much should I bid per keyword? Um, Amazon PPC, uh, Amazon PPC case study. We'll call it a case study. Amazon PPC case study. How much should I pay? Amazon PPC. Now that's a really long tail keyword. So again, I just wanted to thank Latanya uh, for bringing up this tool. I've been using this a lot more lately since she mentioned it. I kind of forgot about it. Um, but let's go over here. So we have our title, we have our description, we have our um, uh, tags here. Let's add it to a playlist. Oh, it's not going to let me add it. I'll have to wait until after I upload it to add it to a playlist. So uh, for what do we want the share message to be? Uh, introduction to Amazon PPC as a brief case study and showing results from my re recent... Now, that's not a great one, but whatever, we'll leave it. Uh, we're going to schedule this to, um, let's see, we'll schedule it for Friday at 
two thirty. Um, I noticed like Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays between like say two and five o'clock is one of the best times to upload your video. So just a quick tip for you guys there. Translations, I really don't mess with this. If you want, you can uh, translate into a different language. Uh, monetization is turned on. Um, category is entertainment for location. We'll push it. You don't really don't need to do anything on this page. Uh, recording date. Let's see here. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So uh, you know, basically we created our listing. Uh, I could literally normally do this in probably 30 seconds or a minute. I took a little bit longer just to kind of walk through everything. But you can see everything's pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Um, and then lastly, all we would do is click uh, publish this video. And uh, if I had put it public, it would publish immediately uh, because I, I set a time on it. Um, and if you're new to YouTube, you may not be able to schedule posts. I think there's some rule you need to have so many videos uploaded or maybe you need to be a member for so long or whatever before you're able to schedule uh, YouTube videos because I've noticed on some of my newer accounts, I'm unable to do that. But yeah, it really doesn't take that long to be able to schedule posts. Once you get some videos up there and get some views and some watch time, you'll you'll start unlocking more features of YouTube. But basically this video is going to post at 2.30 on October 21st. And uh, yeah, this is basically uh, kind of what goes into uh, launching a YouTube video. Um, I mean, it, it, it's literally as easy as I could just click upload and click, click the video and it would be up there right away. But I wanted to give you guys some insights into like how do I select my title? What do I put it into the description? How do I do the tags? For, for the, those of you guys who have maybe never uploaded a YouTube video, just walking you through like what the process is like. So um, video marketing is where it's at, guys. Video marketing is the future. It's the most effective way to drive traffic. It's the most effective way to drive sales. Uh, YouTube is the second largest search engine in the world. It's incredibly powerful at getting videos ranked on page one and top of page one in Google for some very... Uh, very, what's the word, um, very competitive terms that like people would pay $50 for on per click on ads on ad, AdWords. Um, I've actually managed to rank some videos, uh, basically top three results on page one of Google within like less than 72 hours for some very competitive terms. So that just kind of goes to show you the power of YouTube. I'm going to start doing some more videos on YouTube. Um, I think YouTube's, uh, going to be very important to business and Amazon sellers and everything else moving forward. Uh, so if you guys have any questions about YouTube, if you have any topics you want me to cover, uh, please feel free to drop a comment in the, in the comment section below, and I'd be happy to address those. If you're not subscribed to my channel, here comes the call, of action, call to action, guys. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And uh, if you're on any uh, Amazon seller, Reddit forums, other forums, etc., uh, feel free to drop the video and share it there as well. Thank you guys for uh, watching, and we'll catch you guys in the next video.